fish room. And today I got a bunch of stuff to do. I got a lot of tank maintenance that needs to be done. Um, I've been a little lazy, a little under the weather lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done today. And I figure I'll go ahead and take you guys along with me, kind of show you how I do things. But I'm not gonna go into a full deep cleaning, but just kind of like glass cleaning and water changes, which is, I would say the regular maintenance, the stuff that I do the most. Um, I probably need to clean some of the filters as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna get the chance to go ahead and do that today. But anyways, what we're gonna be using today is a Python hose and this little disc sponge, because this is what I use to clean the glass. And as you can see, we got some really hard algae spots right here on this tank right there with my boy, Tony. Tony! And then there's no other better way besides the razor blade, but then again, you risk messing up the seal right there. But in my personal opinion, for them tough algae spots, I use this right here. It works the best for me. Um, there's tons of other methods you can do, but just me personally, I use a dish sponge. I also got all these other tanks. Look at all these guys looking all hungry over here. I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys for you guys real fast. I figure I'll go ahead and show you some of the fish as well. All the glass and tanks are all dirty, ready for maintenance. Sorry, the camera is all bouncy. Look at these guys. If you watch, go back and watch some of my older videos, you'll see how small these guys were. They're starting to grow really fast. I bred all these fish right here. They're a ball to feed too. Go ahead and drop some more in there for them. You guys go crazy for some food. But yeah, the tank that needs it the most, this one's pretty bad as well. The only tanks that look pretty good right now is this 75 gallon, my BODs, the 90 gallon planet tank, and then this 65 gallon right here as well. I did happen to clean those when I got back in town, but everything else I've been just kind of slacking on. So today I got to catch up on everything that needs done. Um, the Obviously the dirty glass doesn't really affect the tank besides for the planet tank because it's just eating all the nutrients that the plants need. But all the other tanks, it's actually healthy for them, but it just is an eyesore. So I want to get that taken care of because you just want everything to look spick and span, especially when you got people over there come look at the tanks or whatever. So, but yeah, this is the worst tank down right here. This is my 125 gallon African cichlid peacock and half tank. I do also have that one big ass starry night or big old starry night, sorry. But yeah, it's not picking up too well on camera, but it is dirty. Look at all that. Oh my God. So I'm going to kind of explain to you what I do for whenever I do water changes. So I usually like to start right here on this level. I usually do this 125 on its own day in general because this tank always takes the longest because it's at the lower lower level of the house because as you can tell there's a step up to these tanks so they drain a lot faster and I can drain these tanks outside easier as well. So usually this gets their own, own day of the week that I do this tank. And, same, and I do this tank usually at the same time, but this tank already had a lot of evaporation, so we're gonna do this tank today too. And another thing is, is I do it usually spread out throughout the week. I usually don't do all my aquariums at once. As you can tell, I have a lot. I also have another 125 and a 110 down there, corner tank. Um, but anyways, yeah, usually I will do this whole strip right here in one day. Same with these guys, and then I'll do the 65 gallon, the 125, and the corner tank down there all on their own day. So they're usually separated between three days or three different times because all these tanks right here are ran off of pretty much one outlet or one power strip. So I just turn off the power strip and every everything's ready to drain. So I do that, I drain them all down and then I fill them back up. So it just makes it a lot easier for me to do it that way because I don't know, whenever you have a lot of aquariums, it just makes it pretty hard to do. Look, look who's out right now. That guy's amazing. I still haven't decided exactly what I want to put in this tank or if I want to just take all these fish out of this tank and add them in other ones and leave this one empty. I don't know. Who knows? The world may never know. But eventually I'll get around to it. I also still have that 40 gallon up there as well, which 
I'm probably gonna end up taking that 40 gallon and putting it below that 125 down there and moving my 10 gallons back up here just because it's kind of tall so I don't want to have to use a step stool to get in there and feed it every day or whatever and the 10 gallons I can still reach pretty well but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean off well first I gotta go grab a towel guys so as you can see I got my trusty dusty dry off tool right here but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to get off these hard stubborn algae uh, spots with this right here this sponge always works the best hopefully I don't get bit which I'm sure I will back up back up back up yeah start over here don't do it because he's starting to get big his bites don't feel as good no more oh 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 don't do it he drew blood before i'm fast as fuck boy yeah, get out of here but yeah look at this let's get some right up <laughs> and if you keep fish you probably have had this type of algae before and you would understand that they're not too easy to get off they're kind of a pain in the butt especially because this is from that window right there it leaks light through so this tank always gets algae on that end but no biggie wipes right off with this dish sponge <clears throat> and i've actually been using the same sponge for probably i don't know i'd say like two years now get out the way buddy go ahead and clean this up. usually i only clean the front panel on my tanks but the side panel is pretty dirty and it kind of acts as a viewing panel as well so might as well go ahead and change that real quick but yeah i also got that tank down there looking terrible because i was stirring up the uh sponge filters so it dumped all that dookie out so i also got to get that one all cleaned out so yeah the one thing you got to worry about doing this is cross contamination but i've had all these fish for a while and they haven't been exposed to any diseases and if there's a quarantine tank i usually don't even clean that tank anyways because it's not meant for looks anyways i just like all that bacteria buildup, which is cool with me that tank looks pretty good so now i'm gonna go ahead and move down to my 125 and show you on the really dirty glass how well this works <clears throat> now it sucks because these guys are probably gonna bite me too look at them <laughs> Alrighty, watch out, watch out. This is the worst tank to clean in my opinion because it's got three different lids, so you gotta lift your arm in and out all the time. But yeah, look at that. Ta -da! Look at the before and after. Just a quick little wipe. Alrighty. Well, I'm not going to bore you guys with this too long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera now and pick it up whenever I'm done cleaning. Also, it'll make it a little bit easier on myself. Alright guys, I just had something crazy happen to me while I was cleaning this tank. So as you can see, there's a bunch of water all over the top. My floor is all wet. Well, anyways, I was in there elbow deep, Yo, probably mama. even deeper than that in this tank, cleaning the glass, right? And all of a sudden, one fish bites me, and the next thing I know is all the fish were just attacking the on my arm. <laughs> and it just freaked me out, so. But I just thought it was funny, I'll go ahead and share it with you guys real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up this glass and show you it whenever I'm done. One eternity later. All right guys, so now that I have the outside of the glass clean, what I usually do is I'll look at the glass up close and try to look for any spots that I missed I see a couple there's like a little spot over here somewhere camera isn't picking it up so it ain't that bad obviously yeah there's a spot right here which in about a few days it'll probably show really well and then I'll just go ahead and hit it with the magnet scraper but the magnet scraper is definitely not strong enough to get that stuff on before but I'm guessing these guys are pretty hungry by the way they just try to eat my arm off like a shark so I'm gonna go ahead and feed them Show you guys how these guys eat you guys can see they'll probably jump out the water hopefully this one does yeah there he is you see him look he's he'll stand out the water
this thing is so fun to feed. Such a beautiful fish in this aquarium as well. It's probably one of my favorites. Definitely my showpiece. And I definitely can see I got some aggression going on. This guy's fins are all nipped up. But you'll have that. I also want to get this guy out of here. This uh, pink OB. Albino pink OB right here. I want to get him out of here. I don't know why I always stutter when I say that word. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get going on the rest of these tanks i gotta clean this glass right here as well see it's kind of dirty it always builds up a film even even if it doesn't look like it that glass is dirty and whenever you clean it your tank just looks that much better and crystal clear oh look look at this little guy out and about right now that fry was spit in this tank and you can see underneath that sponge filter there's more from a different batch that i just never got around to stripping out and these are super red top hongies super beautiful fish but there's also a few other females in here holding there's that afro kobu female there's the lion's cove holding a bunch of babies there's uh <clears throat> some more of them super red top hongies in here holding so this tank just breeds like crazy so but i haven't had time to just keep up with it and keep stripping all these babies and honestly i'm just kind of running out of room at the moment so I don't feel like setting up new tanks or whatever. Do it! So I'm just kind of letting it go. Just do but it! But eventually I want to get all these fish out of here into that corner tank over there. And then this will be another grow out, which I'll probably end up doing that here soon. I just got a couple more adult Mbunas that I want to move around and maybe rehome. So, ladies and gentlemen, so I have this 40 gallon right here filled. So it's time to move on to the next one. So what I'm gonna do is, I try to leave a little bit of water in there, you can see right there, because you don't want to get any air pockets in this python, because it will be a pain in the ass to get out. So just like that, you go ahead and drop it in there. You see there's no air pockets in the line or anything, because I drop it in like this, so this ends up, air flows right out. Yeah, 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 simple, simple, simple. Yeah, I gotta get all that bull crap vacuumed out of there. And I also have to get this tank drained down here because I want to get this tank drained and what have you. Water change on this tank as well. And I'm probably going to save this tank for the next video. I'm going to clean it obviously off camera, but see, it's got all the water marks on it and everything. But. I'm gonna be taking some fish out of this tank, so stay tuned for that for the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and get this tank drained and then pick the camera up and give you a quick little walkthrough and probably end the video out after that. But yeah, this is also the tank that I'm looking to sell some fish out of. Um, mainly like this guy right here. Um, probably a couple others if you guys just ask, you never know. Local only, obviously, I don't ship. But yeah. Oh yeah, look at all the babies doing good getting big sorry for the glare and last video i don't know if you guys if you guys watch my last video i got this guy in here i don't know exactly what that is i've been treating him with melifix but i'm not sure how well it's actually working so go ahead and watch that last video and let me know what that is or what i should do to help treat him help me i'd be greatly appreciative of that you can see it on a still fan tail fan right there it's like an ulcer or some, something like that. I don't know. It looks like a pimple. But yeah, I don't know what to do about it. I treated it with Melifix, but it doesn't seem to be working. So if you guys got any suggestions, go ahead and drop down in the comments below and let me know. All right, guys. So I got this tank draining now. As you can see, I just run it straight outside and drains right to the backyard. Turn this light on as well. But I got this tank draining down here as well now. I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the poop suck, as my boy Scotty likes to call it. Let's see. Look at that. Ew. Everybody says that they don't like the pythons because they don't get good enough suction, but I just think a lot of people don't know what they're doing. As you can see, it's picking it up pretty well. Now, I'm gonna also have to clean this glass with my... Uh, dish sponge as well and probably scrub the bottom too just to 
make it nice and pearly because it's pet the bottom's painted white on this aquarium so kind of just shows all the gunk and everything but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this right here and pick the camera back up here in a few and show you kind of how everything's looking when i'm done and then i'm doing my last tank for the night and it's this corner tank right here I got these guys a nice water change and everything cleaned out for there. This tank I haven't touched yet because in my next video I'm going to be taking some fish out of this tank. And if you can guess what fish it is, let me know. I'll go ahead and give you a quick little pick. But that's all I'm going to say. If you guys can guess what it is, let me know down in the comments below and I'll let you know. But yeah, and then there's this tank right here I didn't really show much of today. I'm thinking about adding maybe the albino turkish and then the albino flav scent into this tank i'm just not 100 percent sure yet planted tanks looking good besides the plants <laughs> which are supposed to be the focal point of this tank but you see my amazon sword died off so now it's just little leaves my jungle vow in the back is gone you can see it just barely in there it's crazy and i don't even know how, what happened this Amazon sword was huge, but it's starting to come back. All my uh, guppy grass can't is died off. I don't know what the heck. I don't know what's going on with this tank. I just never have good luck with live plants, guys. But it is what it is. I'll figure it out one day. This tank right here, all my BODs are looking real nice. Wow. Looks nice. A lot of males in here, so super excited about that. Thought about getting rid of my front frontosa. I don't know why, but just because. These guys, dragon bloods, white lips. Think about moving all these guys out of this tank as well. Then I got the babies. I got these guys water changed, glass clean, yada yada. It's a little cloudy right now because I, va I vacuumed all the sand and stirred it up real good, but should be clear by tomorrow. Got these guys just down here chilling. Play sense in here hiding somewhere. See him some earlier. Oh, there he is. You have super beautiful fish. Tony! Hey. But yeah, and then there's these guys right here. I literally vacuumed this tank three times and it would look spotless and then all of a sudden I'd come back like five minutes later and then all this would be on the ground. So I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. Probably wait another day and then vacuum it again and just fill it up again. But yeah. But stay tuned, I'm gonna change this tank up, make it a little bit better. Um, oh yeah, this tank. It's been a while since I touched this tank, so everything's super clear in this tank. Everybody's looking great. That's that Mbuna that got beat up. You can see he's healing up real nice. And it gives you kind of a size perspective on the other fish in that corner tank because that orange OB right there, he was looked super small in that corner tank. I put him in here and he's like massive, so. Just a little size comparison. Look at that guy right there. Bunch of real beautiful fish. That super red top got beat up. That was the other male trying to compete with the bigger male, but obviously it didn't work out for him. This guy right there. I don't know where my other male Kobu is. There's one of them. There's another one. Had three male Kobus in here. I don't know where they're all at. Look at all them babies in her mouth. Babies in the one that lion's code that just slid back behind that wood 125 is looking great but yeah i'm probably gonna add the video out here i appreciate you guys watching i know it's kind of a boring video but i figured i'll show you guys some of my tips and tricks on how i maintain my tanks it's nothing expect spectacular i didn't go in a super super deep cleaning today just kind of you know normal maintenance but yeah what I hate doing, my least favorite part of maintain, maintenance of any of them is the FX6s. I don't know why, I just dread cleaning them. They're my least favorite job to do and they're just a pain in the butt, so. But yeah, if you guys haven't already, go get, go ahead and give this uh, video a thumbs up. Sub consider subscribing to my channel. If you guys like my content, go ahead and check out some of my other videos I have posted. And hit that notification bell so you guys stay tuned with what I got going on.